Blue Ray is a town of about 5,000 people, located in the heart of Virginia's Shenandoah Valley. Every year, millions of tourists from around the globe come to see the largest caverns on the East Coast, the Blue Ray Caverns. Ecotourism has been practiced in these caves since their discovery in 1878. One of our basic goals is to preserve the natural asset for future generations through education and conservation, so I think we were green before green was cool. In the 70s, uh, late 70s and throughout the 80s, is really when the ecotourism movement was born. Forward thinkers, you might say, uh, were aware of some of the uh, environmental damage that a tourism industry can cause, some of the benefits of uh, taking uh, responsible trips to uh, natural places. Luray's Chamber of Commerce is the only visitor center in the state of Virginia to receive a Virginia Green designation. Virginia Green is a network of business-related organizations and programs that are connected to protecting and promoting the environment. Other parts of this small Virginia town are also tuned in to preserving the planet. Main Street Bakery is the first restaurant to go green in Luray. Its owner, Charles R. Nose, says he has always been environmentally conscious. I don't know any other way to be other than, you know, earth friendly and, and take care of things and recycle, you know. Is it hard work? Oh yeah, it's hard work. That's an awful lot of work to put everything in the van and go down to where the recycling center is. That's an hour out of my day. Is it worth it? Probably yes, it's worth it. Lou Ray's Chamber of Commerce Executive Director Karen Riddle says Virginia is taking the lead when it comes to U.S. states protecting the environment. We actually have probably a very large base of population in our community that are already doing these things at home. So now now there's a designation for it, but we were already doing these things before. But going green is difficult for some businesses in town. Scott and Kelly Zitzer moved to Luray three years ago. They are the owners of Domino's Pizza, but face restrictions from the company, like not being able to buy efficient <laughs> ovens. Moving from an urban area that cared greatly about the environment to a place that is so, so unbelievably beautiful and people don't seem to care. Town, you know, it's slowly coming around to the, to, you know, being more recycle friendly and, and opportunities there. I mean, it was, like I said, when we first moved here, it was, it was like night and day, you know, we thought we'd come out here and everything would be, you know, all about the environment, and it is, it's just the opposite. But John Mayhew, who has lived in the area for 12 years, disagrees. He's the senior consultant at Why Build Green in Luray. When he's not helping people build greener homes, he enjoys spending time at Lake Arrowhead Beach. He says he has watched the town go very green and is excited about the new recycling center that will open later this year. In addition, they're gonna do drywall, which means that when we tear down buildings here, we don't just throw all that uh, in the landfill. We have landfill problems here. We just opened a new one uh, a few years ago. It was very expensive. And so the less we can put in that landfill, the more we can prolong the life of it. Less than two hours outside of Washington, D.C., the town of Luray offers many attractions for visitors, including the Shenandoah National Park, Skyline Drive, and the Hawksbill Greenway. In a town where the caverns meet the sky, Luray continues to preserve its resources, and its green legacy continues to live on and on. From Luray, Virginia, Janelle Plummer reporting.